Hey what's up guys Sal here and welcome back to the Tech Talk TV. The Essential phone has finally started landing in customers hands and while it's not as explosive as expected, it has given people pause for thoughts about its screen cutout. Next week we'll finally behold Apple's version of that cutout which is a lot wider than the Essential simple notch. These two however may not have been the only ones with that idea as a recently published patent shows that Samsung was already toying with that same cutout last year. With how things are going in this space, it may even make it to the next year's flagship. OEMs want to push bezels out of the way to give more room for content. But these screens do have one practical disadvantage. They leave very little room for the usual sensors you'd find on the face of a smartphone, let alone the front speaker critical for actually making phone calls. Different companies use different gimmicks to solve that. Xiaomi, the first to put out a nearly bezel-less phone, put all the sensors at the bottom bezels and used a special type of speaker for the earpiece. Essential tries to mask the tiny slit at the top of the phone for its ear speaker and Apple's widescreen cutout which has yet to be formally seen has enough room for a traditional output. Samsung however was even more traditional in the Galaxy S8 and Note 8. It still had all the usual sensors and speakers in their usual places at the expense of still having some bezels top and bottom. This new patent however almost completely does away with all the bezels. It does have a rather odd cutout though, one that is narrower than what we are expecting on the iPhone 8 but also taller, almost like the essential phone. This kind of almost 100% bezel less screen could make it to Samsung's 2018 flagship and if the speculation is right that the Galaxy S9 will debut in January, it might be too soon for this to happen. But then again, Samsung is making making the iPhone 8's OLED panel so it might already know the right tricks. So what do you think about this? Would you be happy if the Galaxy S9 does end up looking like this? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Okay.